Introduction to Lesson 3, How Plants Grow and How Seeds Travel. Hello students, we hope you learned a lot about starting a fall garden with seeds and the life cycle of a plant last month in our garden lesson. Quick, let's test your memory. What is both the beginning and the end of a plant's life cycle? You guessed it, seeds. This month in our garden lesson, we will learn even more about the roles of seeds in a plant's life cycle. We will also observe the growth of the plants and seeds we planted last month. Once seeds are made at the end of the plant life cycle, they go on an adventure where their goal is to get far away from their parent plants and find a new home on their own. This process is called seed dispersal. The spread of seeds away from their parent plant to make new baby plants. With a little bit of help, these seeds can travel long and far to find their new homes. Seed dispersal can happen in five ways. They can be moved by humans intentionally by planting seeds like we did in our garden or unintentionally. By animals unintentionally through seeds sticking to their fur or being dropped by birds. Blown by the wind. Washed away by water. or propelled out by their own parent plants through a process called bursting. Just like seeds have different parts that work together to sprout, plants have different parts that work together to help the plant grow. Let us take a look at the parts of a plant. The root of a plant has three jobs. Roots anchor the plant into the ground. Roots take in water and nutrients from soil like straws. Roots prevent erosion by holding the soil in place just as it anchors the plant. The stem has two jobs. It is the highway for water from the roots to the leaves and food from the leaves to the plant. The stem provides structure for the plant. The flowers and fruit are the parts that make and hold seeds. Flowers make or produce nectar and have colors and scents to attract pollinators that help flower make seeds. Fruits are the fleshy parts that contain the seeds. The leaf is the place where food is made from the sap. Let us zoom in on the leaf. Plants make food in the leaf through a process called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants absorb sunlight and water and change or convert it into sugars for food. Pause. Let us all take a deep breath together. What do humans breathe through? Well, did you know that plants breathe too? While we breathe oxygen in and carbon dioxide out through our noses and mouths, plants do quite the opposite. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are gases that are all around us in nature that we cannot see or feel. They help us and plants breathe. Plants breathe carbon dioxide in 
and oxygen out through their stomata, tiny openings in their leaves. Fun fact, have you ever wondered why plants are green? Plants contain a green pigment or colored chemical called chlorophyll. That helps them absorb the sunlight. All of that green that you see on plants is what allows them to photosynthesize easily and efficiently. All of these sugars that plants make give them the energy they need to grow and make new seeds. Wow. That is a lot of information in one video. High fives to you gardeners. Thanks for watching our Unit 3 garden video, and we will see you soon in the garden.